I wanted to say something about the varnish that I use. I usually use Liquitex high gloss varnish, but it's just a little bit pricey. And so um, this time I bought some Liquitex gloss medium and varnish um, that I'm going to do the first two coats using this and then the final coat I'll use the high gloss varnish to kind of cut down on the cost of it. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have put uh, two coats of Oh, I'm spilling my little paint chips all over the place. Um, of this, uh, it's echoing. Okay, sorry. I have put two coats of this Liquitex Professional um, gloss, medium, and varnish. Um, and I don't know why they call it a varnish um, because it totally has messed up my paintings. Uh, it poured on like a thick Elmer's glue and I don't know I've never used Mod Podge maybe that's what Mod Podge is and people who are good at that would maybe be good at this but I could not get um, get it to level out without uh, uh, brush strokes. I, I don't know if you can see see that on there but um, I, I mean it dried shiny enough but there are brush strokes all over it, bad ones, and um, and as I would bring it down like this, you know, it might pull up down here, and so then I, you know, I would kind of try to brush it this way or kind of brush it this way to get rid of that. I never could get rid of the the pulling. Uh, it just it just was really really bad, and uh, and it was thick, so it was hard to spread out. I couldn't get it even, and um, when uh, and when I can't remember. Oh, and if I went fast, I got bubbles, and if I went slow, it started drying in between, and then my brush would skip, and and uh, so anyway, it was really a trial, um, and so I would not recommend using this uh, Liquitex Professional Gloss Medium and Varnish as a varnish. Uh, I couldn't get it on. Now in the directions, well it doesn't even tell you how to apply it as a varnish. It doesn't tell you how to do anything. I even looked up, went on to the Liquitex site and looked up their thing and they it didn't tell me how to use it. You know like like this uh, high gloss varnish, you know it tells you you put thin coats on you know and well and it tells you how to do it but there were no instructions about how to use this one. And um, it does say in here that it can be thinned with water. So um, I do have a couple other paintings I want to try. So I think I will try thinning it with water. And if it goes on thinner, maybe then I can get it smoother so that I don't have all these brush strokes in it. Um, I don't know. Uh, I I'm afraid I've ruined this painting by trying to use that. Uh, and it, um, like this one here, is not only got the brush strokes, but it has, has bubbles all over in it and um, with my high gloss varnish if I um, just use the heat gun and run the heat gun over it really fast it'll pop bubbles this would not pop the bu bubbles would not pop I, I couldn't get the bubbles out so I couldn't get it straight I couldn't get it to lay flat I couldn't get rid of the the brush strokes and I got bubbles so um, for this, these particular paintings, I am going to sand them and try and get some of the bubbles out, try and get some of the brush strokes out. I'm going to sand it and then I will go over it with this uh, high gloss varnish. So um, I will be back with the results. <laughs> have, have a great night. Okay, I'm back. I have sanded these down. I sanded this bigger piece twice, um, and these um, smaller pieces once. I will go over them again, but I wanted to show you what's happened. Of course, you guys probably already know, because maybe, maybe you've experienced it. 
but um, when I sanded it down, uh, now these are these white spots um, are where the bubbles were, and they are all over in the painting. Um, white spots where the bubbles are. So on the bigger one here, I went through a, a, as much as I could and, and took my skewer and cleaned out those bubble holes because they are now full of the um, powder that, that I sanded it, sand it off. Uh, this is much, much smoother. I can still feel um, the brush strokes, uh, but it's way smoother than it was. And um, yeah, the same thing here. I will, I will sand these again, and then I guess I will go with my skewer and clean out all of these little bubble holes because I don't want white on my trees. I, I don't know that I need to worry about it quite so bad up in the sky because, you know, maybe it kind of resembles a little twinkling star or something up in there. Um, but uh, anyway, that's what I will be doing is uh, going through and cleaning out all these bubble holes. <laughs> Hopefully the Liquitex um, varnish will uh, fill in the holes and cover up that white powder if I can't get it out. I have, um, I will also, uh, after I sand them again, I will also wipe them down with a damp rag and probably with some uh, alcohol again before I actually varnish them. So that's another step in the process to try and rescue my ruined painting. Okay, so here's my painting. Um, I ended up sanding it twice and uh, putting three coats of um, the high gloss varnish on it. Um, it still has some ridges from the other things. Well, it has ridges from a couple of different things because um, I put uh, too much um, varnish on it, of the high gloss varnish on it the first time I did it. And it pulled up in areas like over in this corner and stuff. It pulled up and there are streaks all along here. Um, all along here and down here. Um, and I sanded it and, and put two more coats on it. And um, they were looking pretty good. You can still see some of the brush strokes, but, but they were looking pretty good. And I thought it was really good. After I put the third coat on, I thought it was really good. I went to bed. Got up the next day and came and looked at it, and um, there are bubbles everywhere. And I'm telling you, I did not see those bubbles when I went to bed. In fact, I there were some big bubbles that I took the heat gun and got them, got them rid, got rid of them, and they were fine when I got up. And it's dried. Uh, there are bubbles, and actually, I don't know if they're bubbles. Uh, I think there's something in the painting. So. Uh, I was trying to think back and I do not think I cleaned it with um, alcohol after the last sanding. So I think it has stuff all over in the varnish. Um, very, 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 very disappointed. Uh, not, not in the painting and not in the varnish but in me for not um, paying attention I guess and doing a better job of, of putting the varnish on. Uh, so I, I guess this painting is just going to be one that I will hang up on my own wall. I think it's beautiful. It just has all these mistakes in it from the varnish. Not the painting itself, but the finish that I put on it is um, just not good. There's something here that was, oh, I don't know, there's stuff all over in it. So anyway. Pretty disappointing, uh, because I just thought this was just a beautiful painting. Uh, and then, then I ruined it with the varnish. So, 
hopefully the next one I do will I'll have better luck with it and <laughs> not have quite so much of a, a mess but this is it dried finished let's see I didn't show you this panel over here um, dried and finished and I don't know maybe sometime in the future I will try to sand it down and do and do a better thing coat on it I don't know it's probably I will just hang it on my own wall and and enjoy its beauty when try to ignore the flaws <laughs> So anyway, you guys all have a great night. Uh, please come and join me again with my videos. And uh, please uh, subscribe, like, and share. And uh, I'll see you again in the next one.